this video, I'm going to share how I'm currently using my Go Getter Girl Signature 5-in-1 Planner and one of my best tips for productivity. Hello, I'm Katie, your teacher from The Planner School. This is Go Getter Girl's 5-in-1 Signature Planner, and it's called a 5-in-1 Planner because it has a bunch of different sections in it. It's a goal planner, daily, weekly, and monthly planner. So it does a lot for you. And he, I wanted to show, show you the ways that I'm using the different sections in the planner. The whole front is like your goal setting. Then it has a monthly calendar here, which I've started to use this month for tracking my fitness because I just, I love that so much because I put a sticker down for whenever I do um, like a physical activity. So I put my little sneaker stickers here on the days that I did some exercise. Um, you can also use your stickers to track anything else. Like if you're going to use this for medications or me time or things you're reading or just like, just choose something that you're going to track. I love to use stickers to track it. So right now, this month, I am using that section for tracking days that I do fitness activities. I'm using this section that says monthly budget for my major expenses and I just write those in there. So I'm using this planner now for two major things, which is budgeting, which is expense tracking for me and tracking my health, wellness, fitness. I moved it over from my journal this month um, because I wanted those two areas, those two major areas, which are on my goals here, my health, wellness, fitness, I want to thrive, focus on thriving, just doing well, more sleep, more water, more vitamins, um, less stress, try to do that. <laughs> so that's one of my major areas. And then keeping track of my money, financials, um, expenses, those two areas are my focus for this planner. And then I have a separate planner, my happy planner, where I'm tracking my videos and everything for the planner school. This page is inspiration. So let me go on over to, I think I can show you this page. So here's how I'm tracking during the weekly layout my expenses. So you can see I go to Starbucks a lot, gas, Publix for groceries, Joanne, this will be a business expense. Amazon, I ordered some coffee, Publix, um, and then like post office, and I have to still write in those expenses. So I'm using this section for expense tracking. Next up are the daily pages, and I have switched from using them as my on-the-go planner to this being my health, wellness, fitness section daily so that I have a really good place to track the food that I'm eating because I'm trying guys, I'm trying. And this is how you make that happen. Set a place, get a planner and decide where you're tracking these things. So I'm now tracking what I eat in the daily schedule so that I can see like, you know, around when I'm eating these things. And the whole point of using a planner because it gives you a great visual. So now you can see either I'm not eating enough or I'm eating too much or I'm not, you know, you can see how you're doing. It's to give you that visual feedback. And then I'm using this section to put in my exercise and I also put it down here and I can put a little check mark because I did a workout there, yay. This day I was, I felt okay, but I was tired. I didn't do a workout for whatever reason. Um, so that's how I'm using these sections right now. I'm also probably going to use it for one more thing and that's the tip I have for you today. Here is this coming week. I'm filming this today on the 10th and tomorrow is Monday, July 11th. So I'll be tracking my food here, my exercise here, and then here's my tip for one of my best productivity tips for using your planner and to get things done. During my lunch breaks, that is when I do activities and errands. So I wrote down five errands that I want to accomplish this week, and these will be done during my lunch break. So all, all you have to do to do something like this is to pick one task per time block. So my time block is my lunch break. I'm gonna choose one task that I want to get completed during that time, 
as well as obviously eating a little snack or lunch. So that's how I'm able to like accomplish a lot of things during the week. Five things, you get five lunch breaks, right? So if you use your time blocks like breakfast, like lunch, like as soon as you get home or as, or like before you leave or what whatever, depending on your schedule, use those time blocks and choose one thing that you want to get accomplished. And that's a great way to be productive. So let's go ahead and plan out which days I'm going to do these five activities this week. And since this planner is the one that I'm using on the go, so this planner will come with me, I'm going to put my tasks for the next five days, these five tasks to do during my lunch break, because I'm bringing this planner with me. So I want to just have that reminder of what I'm supposed to do during that time. I think since this planner has a really good checklist here for work to do's and personal to do's, this will be the section that I'm going to put my tasks for during my lunch break. So Monday, I have some happy mail that I need to take to the post office. So I'm going to write that in. I'm going to put in post office, happy mail, and it has a little checkbox right there so that I know that I get it done. So I'm gonna just check this off here. Tuesday, I'll probably do some planning. So I'm just gonna write plan right here on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I will probably have my dry cleaning pulled together by Wednesday as to what I need to bring in. So I'm gonna say drop off dry clean. I usually get gas on Thursdays because Friday it just gets so busy at the gas station um, that I usually go on Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm gonna put um, gas and I usually go to Costco. All right, I have some alterations that I need to drop off and pick up. So I'm gonna put alterations here and I'm gonna put drop off. And so that means I need to be prepared and get what I need to drop off. And then I also need to remember that I have stuff there to pick up. So based on these activities that I've decided to do during my lunch break this week, that means I need to get Happy Mail ready today. I need to make sure I have my planners with me on Tuesday. It means Wednesday I need to have my dry cleaning packed in my car. Thursday, really no prep for that. And then Friday, whatever I'm gonna bring to have um, alterations done needs to be in my car on Friday. Okay, let's recap. I'm tracking exercise on the monthly overview there. Expenses on the weekly layout here. I'm tracking food here, exercise here. And then medications will also go on this page. Any other health, wellness, fitness things will go on this page. Then I'm using the to-do sections for my lunch break activities during each day. I also wanted to share a list of activities that you can do during your lunch break like this. Go through your mail, run errands make calls or send emails, write in your planner or journal, have some quiet time, read or write, do some shopping, either things that you need or groceries if you can, and take care of your car like gas, wash, or service. For more great tips about productivity and planning, head on over to The Planner School, where I teach planning courses in productivity, hand lettering, and much more. Details are in the description box. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.